Welcome to Ecotech's introduction to the all new Graco Emix XT variable ratio all electric plural component platform. What we'll do today is run through the unit in brief. We'll move across to the operator side of the unit and have a look at the controls as well as the new intuitive touchscreen. Let's now run through some of the Emix XT technical features. 1 to 1 to 6 to 1 ratio in 0.1 increments. A flow rate of up to 3.8 litres per minute. 5,000 psi maximum pressure, supporting a tip up to a 39th hour orifice. The unit boasts new extreme torque motors, which are low RPM, high torque. Dual endurance pumps, 4 kilowatts of heating, touchscreen interface with real time ratio monitoring. The unit comes in two derivatives, a standard and a pro model. The pro model featuring a light tower, hose rack, additional hoses and remote mix manifold. The overall weight drive is 192 kilos. The unit is extremely maneuverable and a maximum current draw of 20 amps. Let's now take some time to run through the operator end of the machine. Moving from top to bottom, our mechanical controls consist of a spray and circulation lever, our pressure gauges, main dual isolation valve, our restrictor adjustment for pressure imbalance, our solvent input isolation valve, our two static mixer assemblies with a third between the main hose and the whip hose, we have our ratio check isolation valves and our electric solvent flush pump, which is also the Extreme Torque series. Let's now take some time to look at the touchscreen interface, protected by a Gorilla Glass. Behind that, our touchscreen. Behind the touchscreen compartment is a USB port for downloading data. Let's go through the setup menu. The setup menu has a number of input parameters. High pressure imbalance alarms, selecting whether your A or B is the high pressure material, high pressure material offsets, low pressure alarm, maximum temperature set point, maximum chemical volume per hopper, low chemical alarm, which we've set to five liters, Jog limit, which we haven't set, which will actually cycle through 18.9 litres before it stops its jog cycle. And then we have our selection to show us what our handle position needs to be. Let's now run through the home screen, which is broken down into specific sections, being supply, temperature, pressure, ratio, and light cycle counter. We'll run through these one at a time. Our supply shows supply container A and B with its current volume of material. If we go into each one of these, we have the ability to change these to however much material we load the hoppers with. There we can see it's shown us that we're now sitting with 18.9 litres. In our startup menu, we did have a low, a low level alarm of 5 litres. The same is for B side, we can adjust B side to the volume that we're filling the hoppers to. That'll acknowledge and show us where our hopper level is. Next, in the center at the top, is our temperature control. Here we can see our heater on and off, being A heater, B heater. We have our desired set temperatures. 45 degrees for part A, 60 degrees for part B, and then we have our actual temperatures. Very simply, I can go in and change the temperature I'd like for each side. Acknowledge. I can then turn heater A on. I can then turn heater B on. We would generally turn the heaters on and start our jog cycle to precondition material to get it up to temperature prior to spray application. It is very important that if we stop the pumps pumping, we want to turn off part A and part B heater to prevent burning of any material in the heaters. 
On the right hand side we have our ratio adjustment. Very simply increasing or decreasing our ratio according to the material that we spray. As you can see we can move this in 0.1 increments from 1 to 1 to 6 to 1. In the centre and below the temperature control is our pressure control with our mode selection. Our mode selection includes spray, recirculated part A only, recirculate part B only, recirculation of part A and B, and our ratio check. If we go into our recirculation mode, let's choose both A and B, we can see we have A side pressure, we have B side pressure, we have our on off, we have our mode we've selected, and we have our jog cycle. We can either increase or decrease the jog cycle, depending on how fast or slow we'd like to send the material through the heaters to recirculate for preconditioning. Let's go and turn the jog cycle on. If we hit the on button, a screen pops up showing the operator exactly what position the spray circulation valve needs to be in, as well as the dual isolation valve. Once the operator has made sure these two valves are in the correct position, we can then acknowledge, and the machine will start recirculating part A and part B. There's our pressure of part A, our pressure of part B. I can, as I mentioned, increase the jog cycle to actually move material through the pumps quicker. This is the point at which I would turn on part A and part B heater in order to get the material up to preconditioned temperature prior to spraying. When we stop the jog cycle, I will turn heater A off, heater B off, and turn off the jog cycle. Let's now go through a different mode being spray. We'll go through our mode selector, hit spray, we'll confirm our ratio, and we'll confirm our pump output pressure. Once we're ready, we'll hit the on button. Once again, a screen will pop up showing the operator exactly what position both handles need to be in. The spray circulation handle needs to be in the vertical spray position and the dual isolation valve needs to be in the down or open position. Once we acknowledge, the pump will start building up pressure. On the right hand side you will see our actual ratio versus our set ratio and we'll see where our pressure balance is sitting. We now have the ability while spraying through the spray tip with material at the right temperature, we'll be able to adjust the restrictor to get that balance spot on. When we're ready to stop spraying, we can turn the machine off and we can actually close the manual valves, set the valve back to the recirculation position, dump all pressures in the unit, switch off A and B heater. Our final mode to run through would be our ratio check. So let's hit our mode selection, go down to our bottom selector being ratio check. We will hit the on button. Once again, the screen pops up showing us that our spray circulation lever needs to be in the vertical position and our dual isolation valve needs to be in the up or closed position. Also what we want to make sure of is that our jog cycle is in R5. Let's acknowledge the two beakers indicated on the screen will flash red and then give us a green tick on the bottom right hand side. Once we have the green tick on the right hand side we can go down to our dual oscillation valve for ratio check. We can unlock and we can move the valves into the down position. We'll then dispense material up to 200 milliliters of the lower viscosity side. Once we have finished dispensing that volume, we can then turn the machine off, pick our isolation valves back up into the closed position. We can take our two measuring containers if we are measuring by volume and we can compare the volume of part A and part B to acknowledge that we do actually have a 2 to 1 ratio physically. We hope you found our video informative. 
and showcasing how simple the new Emix XT is to set up and operate. For more information, please contact sales at ecotech.com.au where we'd be happy to get you into the latest technology.